Hello, everyone. Welcome to your total body microformer workout. We are going to get started here. Um, I just totally blanked with a lot of core. So I hope you're ready. It's going to be like 12 minutes straight of core. But then the good news is that after that, there's no more core to be seen, except of course for your obliques. We're going to be doing the same moves that we're doing at the front, at the front facing the back, at the back facing the back, at the front facing the back, or you know what I'm talking about, okay? So let's get started with an elbow pike to plank, one black spring or zero springs if you want to go more advanced. Elbows are going to be on the front platform, toes on the carriage. Ready, guys? Taking you all over the world on this machine today in three, two, let's go. One minute. Exhale, pike the hips up, keep the heels high. And then inhale, extend yourself out into that elbow plank. Good. Exhale, pike again. It's like 12 minutes of core here. And then we'll get into your first leg. Good. Beautiful. Exhale, pike it. Beautiful. Inhale, extend it. 30 seconds. Knees come down, elbows stay where they're at. We're going for a saw. After your first leg, we'll do your oblique, one oblique. We'll do both arms, then we'll do your other leg, other oblique to finish, okay? In four, elbows and knees, saw. In three, two, let's do it. So knees down, drop the hips, drop the butt, and now hinge back from just the shoulders, hinge forward. Good. Now you can see my hips and butt are down. We're going to change this up. My newest discovery is a high saw. Your hips will stay still. They're just going to be up a little higher, and you're going to keep doing the same saw. In three, Two, hips up a little higher, like you're about to go into a crunch, but you're not. And now keep them there and saw. Good, don't worry, you'll have plenty of time to feel this one because we're gonna do it again, like I said, on all parts of the machine, okay? Knees stay down, hands come up, it's a wheelbarrow. In four, three, Two, so knees down, hands up. Drop the hips, drop the butt into that normal modified plank. Hinge back from just the shoulders. Hinge forward. Good, so we did an elbow pike to plank, a saw, a saw with the hips high, a wheelbarrow. We'll be doing all of those on each part of the machine. Okay, and that's your core. Up next, knees where your hands are, hands where your knees are. Reverse elbow pike to plank. We're there in five. Turn around, face the back. In four, three, two. So stay at the front, just face the back. You can have your feet on the platform or feet on the floor. It's completely up to you. Elbow pike to plank, guys. Ready? One minute. Let's do it. Exhale, pike it. Inhale, extend it. Again, you don't have to pike super high to feel this, okay? In fact, the smaller you pike, the more you might feel it where you want to feel it. Amazing. Let's go 20 seconds. Elbows stay down, knees come down. You've got a normal saw for 30, high saw for 30. We're there in eight. 
Good, in four, three, two, knees come down, elbows stay down. Drop the hips, drop the butt, just the elbows shift forward, just the elbows shift back. Good. In 15, same thing, hips up a little higher. Almost halfway through the abs already, guys. In three, two, hips up higher like you're about to go into a crunch, but you're not. Keep them there and move the elbows forward and back here. Awesome. Knees stay down, hands come up. Reverse wheel. In eight. In four, three, two, so knees down, hands up. Ready? Reverse wheelbarrow. Normal drop tip position. Good. We're headed to the back. Make sure that you're on one block before you head to the back. Elbows on the back platform, toes where your hands are. Now we do all this at the back, facing the back. Starting with that elbow pipe to plank. One black spring, everybody. In four, three, two, let's do it. One black. Elbows on the back platform. Toes where your hands just were. Ready, guys? Three, two, let's do it. It's a little harder back here, so take it slow. Yeah, you can always come to the knees and go for a cat crunch, but really this is only your only move where we're on our toes. Forty seconds, knees come down. You got twenty. Nice, everybody in 10. So good, last five, four, three, two, elbows and knees, saw, ready? Go for it. Just the shoulders shift back, just the shoulders shift forward. Got it. 20 seconds, you're gonna do the same thing. Hips up just a little higher. See what that does. In four, three, two, hips up higher like you're about to go into a crunch. Now look like that the whole time and just saw back, saw forward. I don't know about you, but I feel this in like more of a middle part of my center core and my upper core. Good. 10 seconds. Knees down, hands up. Reverse giant wheel. In four. Good, three, two, let's do it. So knees down, hands up. Drop the hips, drop the butt. Ready, go. We're already eight minutes into that 12 minute set of four guys. Wow. Not too, too bad. Now we just need to do these same moves 
at the back, but facing the front. Starting with that pike to plank, saw, saw with the hips high, wheelbarrow. Good. In 10, you turn around and face the front, but stay here at the back. In four, three, two, amazing. We have three minutes left of set your core. We can do it. Elbows and toes. You can have your toes on the floor or toes on a platform, up to you. Ready guys? One minute, let's go pike to plank. Little bend in the knees if you need to take it out of the hip flexors. That helps. For this first leg set move, by the way, you might need a pole or a chair or something for balance. We won't be in it long, but you might need something to hold on to. Just saying, you can tell your person that you live with to go get one <laughs> or your dog or whatever. Good, let's go 20. Elbows and knees soft. In 10. Good, you guys got three, two, let's do it. Woo! Abs on fire. Just the elbow shift forward, just the elbow shift back, hips and butt are down, okay? We'll do the same thing with your hips and butt up in 15. Trick with the hips and butt up though is to keep them still even if they're up, right? Back of the neck is long. In three, two, hips up just a tad higher like you're about to go into a crunch, but you're not. And now move the elbows out and in. Amazing, 20 seconds away from your last minute of center core. Knees down, hands up, giant wheel. We're there in four, guys. Three, two, knees down, hands up. Drop the hips, drop the butt like normal. Just the hand shift forward. Just the hand shift back. First move we're gonna do is like a fifth lunge, but without cables, right? So we'll be at the back here, but facing the front. That's why you might need something to hold on to because you're pulling the spring to the back. Let's go right leg first today. So right foot will be on the carriage where your hands are. Left foot kind of hooked in the rail. Be really careful on this setup, okay? We're not gonna be in this one for long. And then one of our leg moves will repeat twice on each leg today with something in between it. Playing a lot with Heavy and light springs a little bit. We're there in three, two, let's do it. Heavy and light and also working a lot at the back and the front, okay? So right foot on the carriage, left foot can be kind of hooked in the platform rail. You gotta be real careful on this one. Fifth lunge, ready, go. All the way down, lean into your right leg and then you're pulling that spring in. Woo, come on up. Again, I like to kind of hook my back left toes for safety in one of those eyelets. Good. Make sure you're not set up on a tightrope again. If you need something to hold on to, get it. 60 seconds in full range, and we're going to moonwalk, then you're done with this one, okay? Just like a good warm up for the back of the right leg here. Knee hits over ankle at the bottom. Push down and pull in to the top. Got to slow it down. Good. The 
30 seconds. You hold it down, back left knee bends in, back left leg kicks out, then we're headed to the front for a floor lunge. In eight, at the bottom, in three, two, hold at the bottom and now back left knee bends in, back left leg kicks out. Just try and keep that right knee frozen over the ankle. There you go. Awesome. So keep one black or go zero springs harder, right side of your machine at the front, floor lunge. That's the move we're going to repeat twice on both sides. You'll see. In four, you're coming to the front. Three, good. Two, let's do it. So one block or zero springs, right foot to the right on the floor, left foot wherever you want it on the carriage, okay? All the way down, all the way up, ready, floor lunge. Let's go, down for a slow four to five count. Push down through the right foot, come on up. Good, you've got one minute of full range of motion, one minute of um, variations. Then we'll do a mega floor lunge. So it'll be a heavy version of this lunge. It'll look like what we're doing now, but it'll be, it'll feel different because we'll have heavy springs on. And then we'll go back to the light floor lunge and then we'll finish with a little back lunge, okay? In 20, you're gonna carriage kick, deadlift, carriage kick, deadlift. I'll let you know to switch. Starting with the carriage kick at the bottom of your lunge in four, three, two, hold it down. And now bend your left knee in, kick your left leg out. Awesome, so in five, left knee can stay bent if you want, but I want you to come up higher on the right, deadlift. Ready? Higher on the right, all the way over the right leg. You got a slight bend in that right knee still. Good, back is flat. Look at that little bend in the knee, right? Coming back to the bottom, carriage kick in three, two, back to the bottom. I know, they're fast intervals. Bend the left knee in, kick the left leg out. You're coming back to the top for the deadlifts in four, then we're gonna change the springs. Three, two, to the top, slight bend in the right knee, deadlift down, push down and come up. One red is my recommendation. One red, one blue if you want more. Mega floor lunge in three, two, let's do it. So one red, up to one red, one black. Okay, right foot's gonna be on the floor just like it was. Now your left foot is gonna wanna be in that rail, okay? You're gonna push it back and down, resist on the way up, left leg stays straight. It's exactly a floor lunge, just heavy. Ready, go. Push it back and down, resist on the way up. Good, push it back and down, resist the urge of that spring, wanting to spring you up fast. You're going down slow too, right? Just really make sure that right knee is bending over the ankle. Tendency with these heavy lunges with the back leg straight is to have the knee behind the ankle. If you need to like amp up the resistance, step your right foot back. If you need to simplify or lighten the resistance, step your right foot forward. Notice I'm not coming all the way up to a straight right leg. Good. I'm kind of leaning forward a little bit. Let's go 30 seconds. I definitely like one red here. I think one red, one blue, black would be a little much. We're gonna go carriage kick, better known as kind of a runner's lunge because of these heavy springs. Deadlift, full range of motion, back to the carriage kick, back to the deadlift. 
in three, hold it down in two, hold it down. Now bend your left knee in, kick your left leg out. Yes, just keep that right knee frozen over the ankle. Awesome, now in 15 seconds, left leg goes straight, come up kind of high on the right side. I want you to kind of keep the carriage still. We're going deadlifts. In four, three, two, left leg straight, come up a little higher, keep the left leg straight, keep the carriage still, bend over with a flat back, come up all the way. Keep a slight bend in the right knee, really present your chest forward, all the weight over that right leg. Amazing guys, we're gonna go back to full range of motion, mega floor lunge. In four, in three, two, push it back in down. Resist, resist on the way up, really ground down through that right foot. Woo, I'm feeling it. 15 seconds, you got another set of carriage kick, another set of deadlift. You hold it at the bottom for me in three, two, hold it low, bend that left knee in, kick that left leg out. Yes. 15 seconds, left leg goes straight. Come up just a little bit higher on the right side to about the middle of your lunge. Dead lifts, nothing moves but the chest. In four, three, two, come up a little higher, not too high, all the way over the right leg, bend over, push down, come on up. Yes. Staying on this side of the machine, back down to zero springs harder, one black easier, but still challenging. Back to the light floor lunge. You get to kind of feel the difference. Going back into the floor lunge on the right, guys. We're there in four, three, two, change those sprints. Right foot where it was, left foot wherever you want on the carriage. Let's go. Slide down into that light floor lunge. Ooh, yes. Slide up. Okay, same thing as before. One minute of full range. Then a little carriage kick for 15, deadlift for 15, carriage kick 15, deadlift 15. Then we're gonna do a little back lunge, carriage kick combo. In 30, you hold it at the bottom, carriage kick. That right leg is burning for sure. In eight, in four, three, two, hold it down. Now bend your left knee in. We're not in these long, right? Kick it up. Yes, you're going to come up a little higher to the middle. You can keep the back left knee bent in this one. Deadlift. Ready? Up a little higher, all the way over the right leg. Bend over, back is flat. Push down, come on up. Woo! You're headed back down to the bottom. Carriage kicks in three, two, to the bottom. Bend that left knee in. Kick that left leg out. Back to the deadlifts, everybody, in five. Good, in four, three to the middle, bend over back flat, come on up, good. One black for everybody, left foot hooks in the carriage rail, right foot steps over the back platform onto the floor, it's a back lunge in three, two, let's do it. Last two minutes of your right leg, then we're in your right oblique, then we'll do your arms, okay? Kind of a long segment before your other leg. And then your other oblique will have, be how we finish. Right foot steps over, 
Feel free to take a little step away from the platform if you want. You're gonna do one full range of motion back lunge, one carriage kick. So come all the way down, bend your left knee in, kick your left leg out, and come on up. Woo! Feel free to spread the stance out a little bit, all the way down, bend it in, kick it out, slowly stand it up. Ooh, mama. We got 60 seconds here. Then we're just gonna hold that left leg straight and pulse to finish. One full range, one carriage kick. Amazing. In 30. At the bottom of your back lunge, we're just gonna pulse it. Last 30 seconds of your right leg. We're there in 15. Good guys, in five. You got it, four, three, two, hold it at the bottom. And now pulse it up two inches, down two, that's it. Up two, down two, whoa. Let's go 20 seconds. We got a French twist on the right side. Hands on your back bars. If you don't have back bars, hands on the platform. Right foot over the left foot. In four, we're just there for a minute. Three, good, two, Ooh, mama. Let's go. Hello. If I can even get a this. Okay. Oh, holy, you know what. Okay, right foot over left foot, guys. Hands on the bars. Ready? French twist. One minute. Sides of the feet as best as you can. Try to keep this very small. I'm not bringing my carriage in further than the number three. Good. Shoulders are square, even though your feet are twisted. We're going to drop down to the hands and the knees. Left knee stacks on top of the right knee. Hands on your back platform for a giant reverse twisted wheel. Then we'll do the saw and then the high saw in that twisted position. Left knee on top of right knee, hands come down. In three, good, two, let's do it. So left knee stacked on top of your right knee. Square the shoulders, hinge back, hinge forward. You're going to do the same motion on your elbows in 15 seconds. In five, elbows down, same thing. Four, three, two, elbows down, same thing. Awesome. Now, you're going to keep the knees and the elbows as they are. Hips up a little higher. That's our theme today, right? Higher saw. Just keep the hips still once you've got them up high. We're there in three, two, high saw. So like you're holding a midway point of a crunch, don't move the hips. And then from here, saw back, saw forward. Wow, I feel this. You're gonna ride the machine to the front, guys. We got a combination. It's confusing, so trust my words. One block or zero springs harder. Feet on the floor behind your front platform, hands on the carriage. You're gonna do a dancing bear, knees bend into the left elbow. Center yourself out, mountain climber right side. Knees left, mountain climber right. In three, two, let's do it. 
So trust my words, your knees bend into the left, but then the mountain climber is right knee to right elbow. Hands on carriage, feet on floor, ready. Bend the knees to the left. Kick the legs out to straight legs. Right knee, right elbow, crunch, mountain. Knees to the left. Kick the legs out straight. Stay on this side. Right knee, right elbow. Knees bend to the left. Kick the legs out straight. Right knee, right elbow. 60 seconds. We're going to head into your arms. Two black springs. If you don't have back bars, just hold on to a back platform rail. Your right hand is going to go across to the left bar for an across the chest lap pull on the right side. I don't know about you, but my right oblique is fried. So is my right leg, obviously. Woo! Good guys, in 20. Two black, knees against the, bat, the carriage rail. Right hand goes across to the left bar. If you don't have a bar, right hand across to the left rail of your back platform. Just getting a different angle on that pole. In three, two, let's do it. That was a good move. I like that one. All right, two black springs. If you've got a medium spring, that's kind of where you're at. Right hand goes over my left bar, okay? It's kind of funky. You're pulling that elbow kind of in towards your chest a little bit really into your sternum and then straightening the arm out. Okay, let's do it. It's kind of funky. Good. Left hand can be wherever for support. And then experiment. Maybe if you don't like the bar, you go to the rail. Good. It's kind of funky. My right hand's over across to the left. Pulling my Right elbow kind of close into my under right boob area. In 15, I'm going to put my right hand on the left rail. I'm going to try for kind of a lower angle. Feel free to stay where you're at. In four, three, two, I'm bringing my right hand over into my left rail. So it's a little bit lower. Good different range of motion. My elbow is now kind of coming in, not to so much my sternum, but like the outside of my right knee. Different kind of burn on this one. Straight, strong wrist, by the way. Your palm, if you're holding on to the rail, is probably down. If you're holding onto the bar, your palm is probably facing over to the left with the thumb up. Good work. Let's go 15 seconds. You're gonna ride it to the front. I know lots of spring changes today. You're just gonna add a red either to your two blacks or if you're like me, one red, one black feels good for me. Tricep kick back. In three, two, let's do it. Woo. The cool angle on that. Very different. All right. So one red up to one red, two black. You're going to put your butt forward on the front platform rails and kind of like tuck under a little bit. Palms face the back on the edges of your carriages. You know this one. Lean back into the hands, shoulders out of the ears. Keep it here and now bend in the elbows and then extend. Yeah, it's getting a lot of shoulder, kind of a chest opener situation. As you go for that tricep kickback, working both arms. Trick here is just to keep pushing the hands back, right? Keep leaning back into the hands.
the more weight you lean back into the hands with, the harder it is. This one is sticky and it gets sticky very quickly. always make it easier by moving your hands up to the center of the rails, not to the edge closest to the front platform. That always makes it a little easier. My hands slip because they're sweaty. Good. 40 seconds and you're going to go back to two black. We've got that across the chest, black pole. Left hand to your right bar or left hand to your right rail if you don't have a bar. Or if you've got both, you can switch with me halfway through. In 20. Woo! Lean back a little bit more right here at the end. Let's go for 10. Two black to the back. In five, four, three, two, let's go. Two black springs. Knees against that rail. Left hand to the right bar. Like I said, very different angle on your left pole. It's a little awkward, kind of. You're pulling the left elbow kind of in towards your belly button. Okay, good. Not a huge range of motion. My thumb is up on my bar. Palm is facing out to you guys. Shoulder is out of the ear. My butt's off my heels a little bit, tailbone tucked. 30 seconds, then I'm gonna put my left palm down on my right rail. Then I'm gonna head into that left leg and then we'll finish in your left oblique. In five, left palm down on the right rail. Four, three, two, left palm down on the right rail. You're still going across, but now the left elbow is kind of going to the outer left knee as it bends, yep. Try not to lock the elbow out as you extend the arm. Always a soft bend in everything. Good, we're gonna be on one block, guys. We're starting at the back, facing the front in that fifth lunge, right? That's the tough one to get set up in. That's kind of the tough one in general. So if you need something to hold on to, this is your moment. Left foot where your knees are, right foot kind of where your left hand is right now. We're there in eight. One black in five. Again, not there long in four, three, two. Let's do it. One black spring. Whew, be careful getting set up in this one. So I like to just kind of pull my carriage in, get low like I'm starting a running race, hook your back right foot in the rail, left foot on the carriage, make sure you're all set up. All right, and we're going in three, two, let's do it. Pull the carriage in, oh wow. And then come on down, left knee over left ankle. This one takes a lot of focus. The burn happens quickly. 45 seconds, then you're in the moonwalker. 
Then we're coming down to the left side of your machine at the front for that first set of your floor lunge. In 15. Right knee bends in, right leg kicks out. In four. Good. Three, two, hold it down. And now bend that back right knee in, kick the back right leg out. Yes. You're either on one block or zero springs for that floor lunge, left side of your machine, at the front, in 10. Oh boy. Woo last five. Four, three, two. Wow, that one is crazy. Oh God, left foot on the floor. Right toes on the carriage, wherever they want to be, right? Wherever your right leg feels best, okay? You're coming all the way down, all the way up, ready, go. Down for a slow four to five count. Push down to come up. Yep. Pretty straightforward on this lunge. You're going to do one minute of full range, one minute of variations. Then it'll look like we're doing the same lunge, but you're going to be on a heavier spring. It's a mega floor lunge. Ten seconds, you hold it down for carriage kicks. In five, four, three, two, hold it down. Now bend your right knee in. Kick it out. You're gonna come up to the middle of your lunge for those deadlifts. In four. Right leg can do whatever here. Three, two, all the weight just needs to be over the left leg. You see that little bend in my knee? My knee? Keep it. Wow. Looks like we're doing nothing, but we're doing everything, right? Back down to the carriage kicks in three, two, hold it, bend it in, kick it out. Going back to the deadlifts in four, three, two, deadlift. You're going one red or one red, one black, same position you're in now, exactly. Mega floor lunge. We're there in four, three, two, let's do it. Change those springs. I think I just had one red last time, right? Yeah. Right foot in the rail, left foot steps forward easier, steps back a little harder. Make sure it kind of feels the same as you did last time. Right leg is straight, you're gonna push it back and down. This is the work, resist on the way up. The work is not even coming down, the work is coming up slow. Yep, push it back and down. Really bend into the front left knee so that it's over the ankle, not behind the ankle. Come on up. Yes, you gotta push the back right leg, but really it's about bending into that front left knee and going real slow right here. Real slow right here. Good. 60 seconds. And we're going carriage kick deadlift. In 20, 
Right knee bends in, right leg kicks out. In four, three, two, hold it at the bottom. Bend your right knee in. Kick your right leg out. Now for the deadlifts, I want your right leg to go straight and hold straight. Again, you won't be at the bottom of your lunge. You won't be at the top of your lunge. You're gonna be the middle for those deadlifts. In four, three, two, right leg straight, come up to the middle. Bend over, back flop, all the way over the left leg, like you could lift the back right leg up. Come on up. Yes, 10 seconds. We go back to full range. In five, four, three, two, Woo! push it back in down. Resist the urge to want to spring up. Heavy lunge. One more set of carriage kicks, one more set of deadlift, then we're taking it back down to the light spring or no spring for your floor lunge second set. In three, two, hold it down. Back right knee bends in, back right leg kicks out. Right leg goes straight. You come up to the middle of your lunge, deadlifts. In four, three, two, right leg goes straight, come up to the middle. And now bend over back flat, all the weight over your left leg. Push the left foot into the ground as you bring the chest all the way up over the hips. Good. One black or zero springs harder. Left foot stays where it is, right foot kind of stays where it is. Back to your floor lunge. Second set. We're there in four, three, two, let's do it. Wow, my hamstring and glute. Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna be sore. All right, left foot forward, right toes back. Ready, hit it. Same as before, right? Down, push down to come up. Just feeling different because you don't have the heavy springs on, right? Thirty seconds. You got carriage kicks, deadlift, carriage kick, deadlift. Then we're headed to the back. For that back lunge carriage kick combo, we'll pulse it at the end. Then we finish with that left oblique. Everything else is done. In five, carriage kicks. Four, three, two, hold it down, bend your back right knee in. Kick it out. You're coming up to the middle of your lunge for those deadlifts. In five, four, three, two, come up to the middle. Back leg can be bent if need be. Just try to keep your back flat. Woo, yes, keep that soft bend. In five, back down to the carriage kick. Four, three, Two, back down, bend it in, kick it out. One more set, deadlift side, then we're headed to the back in three, two, come on up, bend over, stand it up. Make sure you're on one block, right foot hooks in the rail, left foot steps over the back platform onto the floor in three, Two, 
Let's do it. Back lunge with a carriage kick. So right foot hooks, left foot steps over. You might even need to step it forward a little bit. That's fine. Ready? All the way down, carriage kick. Three, two, let's go. So all the way down. Bend the right knee in. Kick the right leg out. And then stand it up. Might need to take some small adjustments with your feet. Very intuitive back here. If you need to take your left foot over to the right more or over to the left more. Ooh. 60 seconds and you hold it at the bottom. We're just gonna pulse. In 30. In 10, guys, I know last 30 seconds of your left leg. Ooh. In four. Three, two, hold it down. And now pulse it up two inches. Down two, you got it. French twist, left side is coming. In 15, hands on the bars. Woo, I gotta take a second. Oh, mama. In 10, left foot over right foot. In five, four, three, two, wow. Oh, that was a hard leg set. All right, I can get. Okay, well, it's over now. Left foot over right, guys. One minute in that French twist. Ready? Sides of your feet, keep it small, square the shoulders. Let's go, pike it up, extend it out. Never bringing your feet over the number three. That's a good rule of thumb. If you don't got, if you don't got, if you don't have bars, put your hands on the back platform. 30 seconds, right knee on top of left knee, twisted wheel. In 10. Good, you guys got five, four, three, two, let's do it. Careful, right knee atop left knee. Hands down, ready, go. You got 30 seconds of this. 30 seconds on the elbows and 30 seconds higher hips. And then we finish with that dancing bear mountain climber situation. Yes, they are different things. In eight, elbows down, same thing. In four, three, two, elbows down. Keep the hips down like normal, but not too far down, obviously. Hinge back, hinge forward. Good, now in 20, same thing. Hips up just a little higher, like you're about to do half of a crunch. You're gonna hold them there and saw there. In 10. Good, in three, two, hips up just a tad higher. Keep them there. Headed to the front, feet on the floor, hands on the carriage, one black or zero springs. 
Remember, listen to my words. Knees bend in to the right elbow now. Center yourself out and then left knee to left elbow. Last 90 seconds of class. Good, we're there in three, two. Trust my words. Knees bend to the right. Then it's left knee to left elbow. Takes a second, that's why we're here for a while. Ready guys, last 90 seconds. This one feels fun and good. Let's go. Knees to the right. Kick it up. Pick the left knee up, bring it to the left elbow, set it down. Knees right, left knee, left elbow. Sixty seconds, everybody, you're done. Yes, my timer is done now. I don't know if you can hear that, but my timer is going off. It likes to go off at random times, but don't worry. I have the real time. 20 seconds, everybody, you let it go. Woo! Finish it. And at the end, this one gets tough. Last 10. Beautiful. You got five, four, three, two. Wow. Amazing work, everybody. We did like everything crazy today. I'll see you when I see you next. Thank you.